Dobry den! My name is Oresto. Welcome to Black Rock HVAC's European tour. Today we find ourselves in the Transcarpathian region of Ukraine. snowing like crazy outside today it's cold but we got an opportunity to visit a home with a very modern radiant heating system come on let's check it out well here we are um, I want to thank the homeowners for showing me around explaining as much as they can about their heating system and now I want to explain to you how it works and show you around. Now a little bit of a background here, gas prices have went up crazy. Imagine five years ago gas cost seven cents a cubic meter and today it costs seven dollars. That's why they have converted to a wood boiler. Now is it modern? I believe so. This is modern. Due to the gas prices that's what people here have to do. It's very cool and it's right in there. Let's go. Okay, we are in the mechanic room and this is the primary boiler they use today. This is a Rhoda German made boiler and it is wood burning. Yes, wood burning boiler in the modern heating system. Believe it. So they've converted to wood because of the gas prices. They are off the grid right now. They have a stack of dry wood. Maybe we can recommend some sort of automatic system that feeds the wood. But for now, the, the owner says he's got no problem coming here every five, six hours, putting in some more wood because it costs a lot less and it works great. Over here, we have our temperature control valve. Here we have temp water temperature and all our safeties, pressure gauge. Pressures are measured in bar, not PSI over here. Over here, it looks like we have a six inch chimney. Our supply piping, return piping, and a, a grunt faucet circulator. Right behind me, we have a very interesting system. It is a backup battery. Right now, it's connected to 240 volts. It's charging, but in instances like yesterday, when the power went out for three hours, your battery kicks in and it keeps the circulator running for an extra six hours. That's awesome. What about hot water? Right now, they have a tankless water system, but they also want to get off the gas grid with that appliance. So what they've done, they've planned for the future. He's added a valve to the supply, a valve to the return that will be sending uh, your boiler water through a heat exchanger and over here we have two half inch pipes so you, you have your domestic hot water and you have your well it looks like this will be your domestic hot water this is your cold water supply I recommend planning ahead it's always a smart idea even if you're not going to use it this year or next year at least you're, you have it ask your technician build it leave it in the future we will finish it at least it's there now come on let's check out the other boiler room this boiler is gas fired. It is the original one and it is used. When is it used? Mm. Let's go take a look. Okay, welcome. We're in the second boiler room of this fantastic house. Starting at the exterior wall where our supply over here, our supply and return pipes come out the come out the wall. They are under they're buried underground. They are insulated. They're coming from the wood burning boiler into here. Now they're coming into here because this is this is the the first metallic room that came with the house. This existing boiler is a gas fired unit. Now the whole purpose of the conversion to wood was to eliminate the use of natural gas because of the huge ga the high 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 gas prices here. This boiler will only be turned on um, during emergency uses. 
it does operate still, it's still functional, but the gas valve is shut off right over here. Okay, technicians, check this out. I have something special for you. This half inch gas line right on top of me, it's a schedule 40 pipe, but look at this. It's field bent. So you would have a bender and you would have to bend your gas pipe. That will make our lives a little bit tougher. So it, it's bent and then that nipple over there, it's welded. Yeah, in most parts of Europe, you have to weld even half inch pipes and then pressure test them. And these threads are not pipe doped. They have, um, first they apply paste to the thread and then they wrap it with some sort of material that looks like horse hair and it smells, but it's super, super strong. Behind me, there's also two more circulators that are used for backup, but the circulator we saw in boiler room number one does the entire house. When, if in case that one fails, we have two more backups. Backup, backup is good. So yeah, this is your typical mechanical room. There's nothing too crazy here. Mm, one thing I've noticed is of course the hot water floor heating manifold. That's really, really cool. A uh, nice expansion tank with a bracket that, I've just recently started seeing these, these types of brackets in Toronto. For us, that's pretty modern, but over here, it looks like it's been here for years. Um, I see that this homeowner is keen on having backup, as we've noticed with his um, backup battery and these two circulators over here. They're not necessary, but why not? You know, it's a mechanical system. They will fail one day. And if you don't have backup, you're panicking. You don't want to panic. You want to sit back, have a coffee. You know, it's cold in the morning powers out that's awesome that is so beautiful such a beautiful morning but you need to worry about your heating no have a backup plan guys come on okay so our last section of this house tour are the heat emitters and what actually controls the temperature of your space behind me you will see what is called a radiator yes these are what we call european style radiators this hangs on a wall and Actually, let's measure it. <laughs> let's, there you go. We do have a measuring tape. Four and a half inches away from the wall. What is a four and a half inches? Big deal. And 32 inches wide. 23 inches tall. That's nothing. And this radiator gives off heat to a room that's 12 feet by 15 feet. It's super cozy. I just want to chill beside it. I want to warm my feet on it. I want to <laughs> dry my socks on. I want to do everything with it. It's controlled by a thermostatic temperature control valve. You have on, off, and every, everywhere in between. It's not too hot, easy to touch. It's safe. It looks good and heats your room without making any noise at all. It's working right now. You hear nothing. Do you hear anything? Yes. You don't hear anything. It's so quiet. I want to have this in my house. You want to have this at your house. Super, super cool stuff. Very modern system. Thank you for everyone who's helped in making this video, especially the camera lady. Yeah, oh, coffee's ready. Co okay, we guys. Have to go. We gotta go. <laughs> Coffee's ready. Thank Coffee's you for watching enough. our videos. If you like them, subscribe, leave comments. We want to hear what you think. We want to know what we can do to be more modern and to entertain you guys. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.